Hello everyone, this is Akash Prashad from Innovate Yourself and today I will show you how you can test your GSM model with the help of an AT command. So let us start. This is a module. If you see, this is the main GSM chip which, inst which uh, install in this uh, module. This is an antenna. Here a same tray site. If you see, it's a power adapter and it's a serial port. Through this port, you can directly connect your GSM module to your uh, com to your laptop or to your system, and you can give a command to with the help of a PuTTY software. On that time, you do not need any other kind of controller. If you go on the back hand side, you see here, this is a uh, this is another IC and this is called a MAX232. This IC is basically responsible for the communication of between our controller or our processor to this GSM, to this GSM module. This IC basically convert the voltage level of a TTL logic into a serial devices. So this is, a, this is a, another important IC because without this IC our GSM module will not going to communicate with our system or with our controller this IC and the next one is this IC this is called uh, LM2596S this is basically a voltage regulator which uh, takes a maximum 40 volt input and it's hold a uh, load up to a 3 ampere so that's why this IC has used here because it's uh, it can hold a load up to a 3 ampere and the another thing another important thing is that you can uh, adjust your voltage level at the output from 3 volt to 35 volt or 30 volt by the help of adjusting it, its reference voltage now i'm going to write a program for the gsm module so let us start Health include software Serial software serial dot h. We're going to use this library because while the using of this library, you can uh, make any any digital pin in an Arduino as an TX or an RX. So here I'm going to use a four, 4 and a 5 number pin. Basically, uh, here 4 is RX and 5 is PX. Now enter into the loop and write serial dot begin set up board rate 9600 stop. Again, set the board rate of a GSM module also. So for that I am going to write gsm dot begin 9600 Now enter into the void loop section So here I am going to write a command If gsm dot available Then serial dot write gsm dot read. What it means basically, first of all, I write a command here if gsm dot available. It means if a gsm is available, it means if the gsm is on network, then read the value from the gsm and write it on the serial monitor. And next, if serial dot available, then gsm dot write
serial dot read and here if serial dot available it means if the serial communication is stable then read the value from the serial read and write it on the into the gsm while writing this two section if you see here we read a value from the gsm and write it on a serial a serial monitor or serial communication and read the value from the um, read the value from the uh, serial section and write it from the gsm the, here the serial is serial uh, serial writing and serial reading is from the controller let go to the gsm module and make a connection in this gsm module i'm just going to insert a sim into the sim slot here is a sim i'm just going to insert it and i'm i'm going to give a power supply 12 volt and I'm, I'm using a 12 volt adapter so i'm going to provide a power supply with the help of the adapter before that you see here there are three led one is nwk it's a network led it's a status led and it's a power led when i providing a, a supply a power supply to this port the power led and a network led start blinking and after a few seconds the status led will on the network led very uh, will blink very fast at the initial state but when some while our gsm is connected with the network its blinking gets slow down as you see the network led is blinking very fastly and now um, and right now and now the gsm module is still connected with the network and if you see here the network led will start blinking slowly so this shows that your module has connect with the network and it's ready to use in this module you can directly connect a mic and a speaker if you see here you you will get a mcp section here you can connect a mic and there is also an a speaker section where you can connect a speaker i'm now going to upload a program into a controller be careful while uploading a program into a controller please remove the tx and rx pin i just open a serial monitor and type at in capital and enter while typing a at your gsm model will respond with a okay now i am going to see which network operator i am using so as i show you already i am using a airtel so let's see whether our uh, system will responding us or not for that at command at plus cops at plus cops and then question mark hit enter my gsm module has respond with the india airtel now i'm going to use a at command for a voice calling so the at command is atd you will see i just receive a call and now i'm going to type a at command to disconnect a call so and the at command for disconnecting a call is at h hit enter see the call has disconnected now i'm just going to receive the call with the help of at command so i'm just going to make a call from my mobile phone look it shows ringing so i'm going to type a command to receive a call and the it command is at 
A. Enter. Okay, so the call has received. Now this is going to disconnect it. A T H. So that's all in this video. I hope you understand. If you have any query, you can comment down in a comment box. And if you like this video, please like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. So thank you.